Hello, am I speaking to Ms. Rekha? Hello, yes, this is Rekha. How can I help you? I am Rakesh Sharma, calling from FedEx Courier Service. The parcel which you have couriered to the US, we caught that in Mumbai. The parcel has MDMA, and this is illegal. But I did not courier anything. Ma'am, this package has your name. There might be a mistake. Please double check. But, we have already booked a case against you at Mumbai Police Station. Inspector Sritan Patil will call you. You should come on a video call. Hello, I am Sritan Patil from Mumbai Police Station. We got an FIR against you for MDMA content in your courier. Please show your Aadhaar card, PAN card or banking details to prove your identity. The details match. We are sending our police team from Mumbai. You will be taken into custody. Please withdraw the FIR, sir. You must pay an amount of rupees 1 lakh to withdraw this FIR. 1 lakh? Sir, I don't have that much amount right now. Please help me, sir. FIR is already booked, and before it falls into superior notice, you need to pay rupees 1 lakh to withdraw. The victim ends up paying rupees 1 lakh to these fraudsters. Did you see how these fraudsters create panic among individuals and dupe them? You could be the next target. Here are some tips to avoid falling for such fake courier scams. Remember, no courier or customs department will call you for any of your parcels. Do not encourage calls claiming from the customs department in case you are expecting a courier. Always track your courier using the tracking number provided by the courier company. No police official or government agencies will ask your personal details over phone or online. Report any cybercrime incident at 1930. Be alert and stay safe.